82-bits hey the little rocker here with Buffy Zane the Man. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick review here. Uh, hopefully a little series we'll get to do more of, but uh, straight from the movies. Last night we saw Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Oh yeah. Thoughts? I thought it was a really, really good movie. I thought it was too. I mean, the action was good. There were some comedic elements. Eddie Redmayne, who I believe won an Oscar last year for playing Stephen Hawking, he did a, he did a decent job. I like Colin Farrell in this one too. He was good. He was good in this movie. Yeah, he was. Car Puff had that creepy element, and it was that one anti-witch woman. Right. I said, I I thought it was just r really well done. I mean, it's an it's a prequel, as everybody knows, but um, there's going to be four more of these, so we're looking forward to them. Probably going to go see them, of course. Um. Anything else you want to add, or? Well, I like the fact that they added the beginning of the movie Grindelwald. Oh yeah, that that was definitely interesting. I think it's I think it's like pre, uh, before he found the wand, the mm -hmm. elder wand. Yeah. Because isn't he supposed to be like the Voldemort of this timeline? Yeah. And yeah, it's like I think it's like pretty much pre uh, elder wand. I think it's interesting what they got to play Grindelwald, too. I won't give anything away if you guys haven't seen it, but wait till you see it. Oh, yeah. Any, any particular moment you liked? Um, I'd have to think. I think I like the part when, um, near the beginning, where the where they, they end up switching cases. Yeah. The Newt's commander and that other guy. And he ends up with the case with all the critters in it. Oh, yeah. I thought that was funny. I like the part where, like, the, uh... That little, uh, uh, platypus thing. The one that kept stealing all the shiny stuff? Yeah, kept stealing the shiny stuff and wandering around for something shiny shop. And each time he grabbed a guy, he's like, shook him to get the stuff out. He's it was like, like he was a bottomless pit of shiny things. Yeah. The creatures were amazing, though. Oh, yeah. Well done effects. I just wonder what the second movie's going to be called and, uh, what they're going to cover. We probably won't know until they put some news out on it, and this is still opening weekend for this one. Oh, yeah. I know Dumbledore's going to be uh, in the next one. I heard that, too. Oh, I know. That's, a, that's about all we know for the next one, and I think pretty much all we can say about this one, since it's uh, straight from the movies review. I'll, I'll usually get rating two one five. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll do that, too. I give it probably, I'd say a 4.5. Not perfect, but still definitely enjoyable. I give it a 4.5 too. It was a, it was enjoyable. It was good, but it wasn't perfect. Yeah, I, I mean the comedic elements were interesting. I have to say. Yep. Yeah. And they definitely did the right choice in casting. And the special effects were like uh, awesome. Oh yeah. I like the suitcase scene too. Oh yeah. I yeah. said the cast was really good. I mean Eddie Redmayne. I'd never seen him in anything before, but he's gonna he's actually gonna be pretty good. I think he's going to be a decent actor, especially if he's already got an Oscar. Yeah. There's some Easter eggs in this one, too. I didn't really catch many of them. Well, the only Easter egg, I, I caught a few of them, but one Easter egg I caught was the Grindelwald necklace. That yeah, Luna I saw saw that. Well, Luna Lundgren's father also wore that in the Terry pa Stone Terry Parker movie. Right, I remember that. But definitely Hollywood's reference in there. Yep. But it's an Easter egg, so I have to watch it again and watch it carefully. Yeah, we got... And I doubt we're probably going to go a second time. Uh, probably. We'll see. I don't know. But, that's all I got. Yeah, that's pretty much all we can say. Like I said, we wanted to keep the spoiler free since we just saw it last night. It just opened this weekend, but that was our thoughts on Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Once again, I'm the little rocker, also known as Andre. Chilling with Buffy Zena Man, also known as Chris. We're telling you to enjoy life. Enjoy some Skittles, enjoy some Starburst, and what do you always say? Eat chicken. We will catch you later.